Hi, I'm Stephanie. And I'm Justy. And, and together, together we're, we're losing it. it. We've each lost over 100 pounds with the help of diet, exercise, and breaking bad habits. And I also had weight loss surgery in 2020. And I recently had skin removal surgery. We're just sharing our journey and what we've learned throughout the process. And we're not doctors. So if you have any medical questions, reach out to your doctor. Welcome back, friends. Today, we are talking about um, eating while we travel. Um, and Justy has some upcoming travel plans um, for a long weekend. And um, we thought this would be timely with that coming up. I travel a lot um, for work and some for pleasure. Justy also travels a lot. That's kind of what kicked off our friendship right. with tequila <laughs> in Texas. We were actually in... Um... Oh, yeah. On a cruise seven years ago yeah. this week. We saw mm-hmm. some horrifying pictures of ourselves. So look at look by our the, Instagram. Yeah, look channel. at our Instagram because by the time this airs, you'll have seen the yeah. Jamaica experience. Listen, we had a great time. We had a great though. time. And I thought it was cute as shit back then. I did so. too. We were like, hey, and we had our little cover ups on. Like, what was that covering up? Right? Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to kick it off to Jesse. She's going to talk about, she's driving for her long weekend. So she's going to start with what she does when she's driving for travel. Yeah. So, um, I drive quite a bit actually for travel, a couple hours here and there. My, my kids do live in Florida. I have own a home down there. So, uh, that's a little bit longer drive. So I've had lots of practice. Um, so I'm going to Helen, Georgia, which is about two, three and a half hours away from Charlotte. Um, we actually wanted to go to Germany and we both couldn't get enough time. So we picked Helen, Georgia, a little German, <laughs> least, little German town can get some like apple pancakes and see people in Lederhosen. I right. figured mm-hmm. what the hell, um, Happy so, medium. right. So we're just, you know, you do what you, you be resilient. Um, so, so when I travel, um, what I used to do is buy way too many unhealthy snacks. Um, so the, the Doritos, the M&Ms, the, all the things, and I would just munch the entire time, turn on my music. I would get a big gulp of soda. I don't even drink pop anymore. So yeah, sorry, pop. It's a thing. Um, so, but now what I do is, um, I plan, um, for, to have something, um, about a handful or so of something every couple of hours. So if I'm on a nine hour drive, then I'm going to plan like four different, you know, snacks or meals. Um, and then like with my two or three hour drive, I'm going to plan, like, I'll probably eat before I leave and then plan a snack. And then I know we're going to dinner when I get there. So, um, if you plan too much, you're going to eat it. At least I'm going to eat it. So it's too tempting. You're right. bored. You're bored. You're bored as Especially hell. Especially if you're by yeah. yourself. Now you can always listen. If you are like, I'm going to pass out because I haven't had anything to eat. And that cheese stick and, you know, pepperoni wasn't enough. There's gas stations. And gas stations have come a long yeah. way. They mm-hmm. really have like sheets. Um, mm-hmm. Who else loves? They really have a great, they have boiled like, eggs. Right, they protein. have, yeah. yep. have mm-hmm. cheese sticks. They have jerky. Mm-hmm. They have all of that stuff mm-hmm. and little protein snack boxes. They've come mm-hmm. a long way. But for me, it's kind of like, so I'll pack my things if worse comes to worse and it's like, you know, it takes longer or whatever. I can always get a snack at a gas station, Mm -hmm. but at least I'm not going to be tempted to just munch on Doritos and, you know, stop at the waffle house. Cause that used Mm -hmm. to be our thing. Every time we travel, we stop at the waffle house Mm -hmm. and get all the bad things. And so that's not even part of my life anymore. Actually, when we did that, we would feel like shit mm-hmm. and still have to drive for like right. a few hours and you're and all full and it's like just gross ready feeling. to pass out. So, um, I also take plenty of water. Mm, that's the one thing you do want to overpack. Yeah. So contrary I, to yes, popular belief, <laughs> plenty of water. And I know people are like, Oh my God, then I'm gonna have to stop and pee. So stop and pee and get out and stretch and your legs. Out, stretch get, your legs steps in. And, yeah. Get your mind reset. To... So you plan what an extra 20 minutes into your right, travel. Right. <laughs> well, and I mean, Honestly, anytime we like go somewhere in a car, it's not like I have to be there at six o'clock. Right. Like, no. Right. If you have a if you have a time that you have to be somewhere by a specific time, mm-hmm. you're probably leaving the day before that. Right. So it's kind of like if uh-huh. not your poor planning. <laughs> right. And I just give myself some grace and you know, hey, if I need to stop, if I need to pull over, I'm gonna do that. Um, 
I, I, when I went to Florida, I did, I'm not as big of a planner as Stephanie is, um, or most people for that matter. Mm-hmm. So when That's I why to, we travel well together, yeah, I just like, tell me how much money, right. <laughs> what I need to wear. Um, when I, by the way, you need a visa right. for Cuba. I do. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. I, I, this is the person who forgot her passport when I just went to Mexico, right. but I got in and out of the country right. just fine. <laughs> um, so anyway, um, I, <laughs> can't believe I did that, but whatever. Um, so, um, I went to Florida the last time and I didn't pack enough snacks, but I knew that I was like, well, I just didn't have a lot on in my house. And so I knew that. So I knew that I was going to stop at the, um, Bucky's. Yeah. Cause I wanted to stop at Bucky's. I'm like, okay, I'll just stop at Bucky's. I'm sure they'll have something healthy. I've never been the one. But in my, it was a, it was a shit show. Yeah. Yeah. But in my what head, I, I was like, okay, my options are going to be like some cheese, maybe some, a salad, maybe whatever, maybe whatever. I had no, cl- no idea that they had like ribs, jerky, jer- like, like a they selection had, of I mean, they had a whole thing of nuts. They had all this stuff, but nope, I was going to stick to my plan because mm-hmm. that's what I planned that day. So that was, uh, don't stop at Bucky's if you're hungry. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's kind of what I do. Um, when I drive, I pack just enough um, I have an idea if I do need to stop, I have an idea of some things I'm going to eat. Um, I don't ever go through fast food. Um, I just don't, it makes me feel like shit afterwards. So I don't want to, I don't want to do that. And I drink plenty, plenty of water. Yeah. Yeah. I do stop at fast food, but I know my fast food places and I know what I can get. Chick-fil-A. We talked about this previously. Chick-fil-A is my go-to because they have grilled nuggets. And the kale crunch salad. And that is my fast, my number one fast food choice. As long as I stick to right. grilled nuggets and kale crunch salad, right. um, which I typically do. I'm pretty good with that. Even though I'll be in line like, oh, I could get some fries. But by the time I order. I don't trust myself. So yeah, I'm by the time I order, it. I get, I get mm-hmm. the right thing. Um, and then the other thing, um, I'll go to Burger King and I get sometimes an impossible without the bun. Mm-hmm. So I do. I do occasionally. But I would prefer if I'm on a road trip to pack a cooler that has like stuff to do like a turkey wrap or something like that um we took that trip the one time in west virginia oh yeah Mm -hmm. and i packed a little cooler because i'm a planner like that yeah and i had like i had almonds and nuts and cheese and uh, sometimes i'll take hard-boiled eggs it's very it's very much the same things i packed literally the same things every time i go somewhere but it works so um i do that but i also will have like a bag of peanut m ms because balance yes. <laughs> balance. And like, like I said, you know, I would usually do the waffle house and the Doritos and the M&Ms and the soda and all the things. And now it's like, okay, I do a little bag of Doritos, yeah. but I get a small so bag, a little portion one, and, you know? Right. And so that, so I took a trip and it was about a year ago. Cause it was last spring. I went to New Jersey. I was, um, visiting friends there. I had a work trip followed by, um, staying with my friend in Jersey and, I took a bag of peanut M&Ms with me, the shareable bag, the three portions, if anyone's wondering, (laughs) I know this and I would stick to it, but I took the bag of peanut M&Ms. It last, I had it with me my whole work trip, which was like four days, I think. And then when I got to my friend's house and she's also, um, you know, on a healthy kind of weight loss journey herself. And so I told her, I was like, I have a bag of peanut M&Ms if we want it you know she's like I have like she would have her little snack or whatever Mm -hmm. because balance Mm -hmm. you can't continue to deprive yourself of things because you're just gonna end up binging in the end Mm -hmm. those peanut M&Ms lasted me over a week just having them it was like a little security blanket I knew I could have them if I wanted them but I hadn't found the time that I really wanted them Mm -hmm. and then and the way that our brains them the way that our brains kind of work is like that deprivation Mm -hmm. so if we wouldn't if we were trying to do a road trip cold turkey Mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. with like no anything like that that is not on our normal routine um then then when we get to our destination or whatever then we would probably go ham on whatever right um and so we try our kind of big rule is to stay consistent with what we do at home yes um but still enjoy the local cuisine or still enjoy a treat or two here or there right not all the treats (laughs) not all the cuisine right but some of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that is a big thing, staying consistent. And mm-hmm. so um, that's going to take me to flying. So mm-hmm. I fly most of the time for work. When I travel for work, I'm usually flying. My last trip I drove, it happened to be in North Carolina. Um, but oh, out- where did you go? 
Pinehurst. Oh. So much pollen. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. It was all the pine trees, all the pollen. It was disgusting. I would walk out and there was literally, her car was covered in pollen. Nothing like here. I, I don't even know how to explain it. It's only two hours away, but it was all, I've never seen so much pollen in my life. Oh. Anyway. Um, so I drove for that trip. Um, and, and, you know, it was only a two day, so I didn't really, I did go to the grocery store, but it didn't, um, I didn't need a lot of stuff. So when I fly for, for work, there's a couple things that I do. I have my backpack that I, I travel with that has like my laptop and stuff in it. That is my, um, personal item, my carry on. I take an empty water bottle with me cause I'll fill it up at the airport. So it's just my usual metal water bottle. Um, and then I'll pack some snacks in there that are like, um, kind of like a grab and go to keep me out of the airport. Um, kind of like snacky, what are they called? What's that called? U S news or whatever right. they call those stores. Well, those are expensive. They like, are expensive, so expensive and they have some airports have gotten better. Charlotte airport has not. Some have <laughs> gotten better with having really good options, um, at those places. Charlotte airport is like meh for the mm -hmm. options. Um, and that's where we fly out of. They do have the water fountain where you put your thing up and it's filtered and it tells you those are the thing. best. So they have those. So I yeah. bring my empty water bottle for that. Um, and then I put some like protein bar. Um, I have once before, cause I get crafty sometimes. I actually took my water bottle and, um, froze it <laughs> and I put cheese and, and, um, turkey sticks inside of it and took that with me mm -hmm. so that we would keep my, um, I didn't freeze the, the turkey sticks and the, um, cheese, but the cold, cold water bottle mm -hmm. kept it cold, cold for a while. So, and they'll let you, so I, I mean, I'm pre-check, but they'll mm -hmm. let you take, Same. like, I'll fill my, um, thing of ice. Yeah. You can bring ice, can but, bring not ice water. but not water. Yeah. So whatever, I mean, sure. um, so I guess whatever you make a bomb with doesn't freeze. I don't <laughs> well, know. The, Cause the airport water things are never cold. Yeah. Like they're just never cold. Yeah. Now I will drink water. That's not filtered. I don't, I don't care. So if they don't have a water fountain, I'll fill it up in the bathroom. Oh, as no. long as my water's cold, no, no, no. I don't care. No, she's a little different with the germs and mm -hmm. things, but it's not even germs. Um, it's just the way it tastes. Yeah. Right? I, yeah. But, um, it's better than paying $9 for water. That's exactly right. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. But yes, you can, crazy enough, you can take ice, you can't take water. So mm -hmm. depending, I mean, if you're a long ways from the airport, I guess you could drain the water out of your ice, but mm -hmm. yeah. So I get crafty with that. So I could have like that cheese and not a cheese is going to last a little while anyway, mm -hmm. but when it gets really soft and kind of yeah. like translucent, you mm -hmm. look, nobody wants it anyway. So yeah, I do like the baby bell and they're in the wax. So I put that in there. It's nice and cold. Um, so that's kind of my little trick for having food on the plane with me. Um, and then when I land, I immediately go to an airport. I always schedule time. Sure. I'm not the airport. <laughs> I immediately go to the airport. airport. <laughs> I immediately leave the airport and I go to a grocery store. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This is the left side of my brain over here. Mm -hmm. um, and so I go to the grocery store. I always plan. I don't want to same have mm -hmm. to. First of all, I would never plan a flight and have to be somewhere at a certain time anyway. Mm -hmm. I would come the day before, which I typically do go the night before um, cause I start training early in the morning. So I go right to the grocery store and I will pack in my bag things that I can't get at a grocery store dive bars. I eat one every day. What we said earlier is staying consistent with mm -hmm. what you do every day. I'm still going to eat one every day. Mm -hmm. So I, I pack those in there. Sometimes I'll put a few fair life shakes in there, depending how long I'm gone for. I can't take a case of them. Right. <laughs> it's going to weigh my bag down. But if I'm only gone for like three or four days, I'll put three or four shakes in there. Mm -hmm. Um, because the, they're harder to find like at a grocery store and that's the shakes that I drink. Um, and then I'll take some like other little protein type things The um, I get turkey sticks from Walmart and they don't, they aren't refrigerated until they're opened. So I'll put a pack of those in there, things mm -hmm. like that, that I'll keep in my suitcase. So I pack whatever I can from home that I don't know if I'll be able to get when I travel. When I get to the grocery store, I will get vitamin water. I drink every day. I drink literally one every day. It is just, if I have to get my hydration in, I can't just drink water. I'm plain water. I can't drink plain water all day. I need, I don't, you eat such a little amount. I need some enjoyment from somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I need that flavor out of just plain water. So vitamin water has been my go-to. So I will, I, you can get those everywhere. Yeah. So I will pick up for however many days I'm there. I get one for each day. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm gone for a while and I need to get 
protein shakes. I will look for Fairlife. If I can't get Fairlife, I'll find next best. I'm not um, a premier fan. Mm-hmm. I tried one the other day again I like and them. I was like, Whoa. I don't them. I've just uh, come become accustomed to Fairlife. So even Fairlife, you can get it like a gas station or somewhere like that. It's not the 30 grams of protein. It's the 25, mm-hmm. but whatever that works for me. Um, so that kind of stuff. Um, and I think the key with going to the grocery store for me is not to get too much, mm-hmm. like really for the amount of days you're going to be there, you don't need, you're going to eat out a couple of times, but if I get all the things then I'm going to eat all the things. Right. So I really just, okay, I'm going to eat out this many days. I'm going to eat out these meals. I have the hotel breakfast, whatever. So I only need a little bit. Right. Like, and yeah. so I'm going to kind of cross over into that. So, cause Justy mentioned it and then it'll lead into my next point is having some kind of a, an itinerary, a plan, mm-hmm. knowing what you're doing each day. Okay. We're probably eating out this day or mm-hmm. when I travel for work, I mean, I'm a chef. So for the day while I'm working, I'm in a food establishment. Right. Mm-hmm. I know what I'm training. Mm-hmm. So I know what kind of food we have. Mm-hmm. So I know if I need to bring food with me, that type of thing. Um, and same for Justy, she's yeah. in the restaurant industry too. So if she's traveling for work, she's probably in some place that serves food. Right. So we kind of know you have an idea of what you're doing throughout the day. And obviously that's not the case for everybody, but mm-hmm. you would maybe at the grocery store, pick up th- some things to have for lunch. So maybe you would get some like deli lunch meat and mm-hmm. cheese, and you could do some roll-ups or something like that. Um, one of the things that I also try to do is stay at a hotel that has a kitchen, like a mini kitchen. I typically, I'm a Marriott girl. I try to stick with my points and mm-hmm. stuff. I look for a residence, residence in or like a town place <laughs> suites because they have the little kitchens. Mm-hmm. And so with the little kitchens, I have the ability to do more than I would at the very least a microwave we need. Ooh, and I love their shampoo and conditioner, yes. the smell. Yeah, like it's that really good. I don't even have to pull my, uh, yeah, I don't even have to yeah. pull out my toiletry. Well, I need a toothbrush, but right. I use their stuff. Yeah. Too. But anyway, that's besides the mm-hmm. point. Um, but yeah, if I have a minimum microwave, yeah, Yeah. bare minimum Mm -hmm, microwave, mm -hmm. because that way you can, when you go out to eat and you only eat half a portion, you have that other half to have for the next day or or what have you. But I try to get a mini, like a kitchen of some sort. I actually, a couple, it was last year at one point I was on an extended trip and I meal prepped a little bit in my room. Mm -hmm. I bought egg whites. I bought turkey sausage. Um, some cheese and whatnot. And I went back to the hotel. I scrambled the egg whites. I took the little hotel cup, like the little um, cardboard cup with the little plastic lid for your, like your coffee. Mm -hmm. And I put the scrambled egg, the turkey sausage, and I sprinkled some cheese, put it in the cup, put it in the fridge. Then in the morning while I was getting ready, I put it in the microwave, Mm -hmm. heated it up and I was able to eat. I actually ate it on my way. Um, So it was kind of like my little meal. i meal prepped my breakfast. I knew what I was having for lunch because at work I was having whatever I was training. I knew what I could eat there. And then for dinner, I tip, um, I travel alone for work 99.9% of the time. Mm -hmm. So I know I'm okay. I'm going to go out to eat. I'm going to get this meal. I'm going to bring it back. This is today and tomorrow. And I travel like alone a lot, but then I'm also with people. So I, (laughs) I don't want to say I prefer to travel alone because I don't, but it's easier when it I is by easier, myself yeah. because then you don't have, there's the no outside influence yeah. of, of all the things. Mm-hmm. And so, um, for me, it's conversations. Like mm-hmm. I had a conversation with, um, steady Eddie mm-hmm. because I, you know, we're going to this little German town and I want some, um, some apple pancakes and mm-hmm. there's certain things that I want. But that, so I'm going to get those and I have some schnitzel, but I'm not going to have all the things. Right. So, but outside of that, you're going to try to reel it in. Right. Going to try to reel it in. And so, um, same thing. I'm going on a cruise in July. So of course, cruise food, you know what I mean? Lord help All us. they try to do is feed you on a cruise. Right. Um, and so, um, but, but yeah, so it's really important to know, like your, like she said, your schedule, then you can plan. So like when I was in Africa, I you know, we would get up and have coffee and eat something for breakfast. I didn't know when we were eating again, because our days were very long and Mm -hmm. it it could take you 30 minutes to get somewhere or it could take you two hours because there's no road anymore. Um, Mm -hmm. so you just didn't know. And so I had always had snacks with me, always had a protein bar because the last thing I ever want to do is be like hangry, hangry. Mm -hmm. I have from the time I'm you're in I, Africa. Nobody wants to be hangry right. on vacation in Africa. From the time I say I'm hungry, I've got like 23 minutes before I need something mm-hmm. and or else I'm just not happy. And so I I keep 
just something, even when I'm hiking, like in my pocket or, yeah. or whatever, but I'm not a big planner, but I have to have some purse meat. Yes. In, in Berry Nation, we've yeah. dubbed it purse meat. purse meat. If you don't have purse meat on you, then right. well, unless you're vegetarian, but most <laughs> of us have some type of purse meat or purse cheese that they you can bust out at any given time. Yeah. We went to Disney. It was almost a year ago. Oh yeah. It was right about a year ago. It was exactly a year ago. I was in Disney because um, I did my first um, 10K. And I was in Disney with my sister and some friends. There you are, Jen. You're being mentioned again <laughs> um, <laughs> with my sister and some friends. And in my, I brought a backpack with me. Um, you can bring food with you. Mm -hmm. They allow you to bring, I had in there, mm -hmm. I had cutie oranges. I had um, my meat sticks. I had my meat purse in there. I had um, protein bars. I had nuts. And so, because when I go out to eat, when I'm with people with whole, whole ass stomachs mm -hmm. that are ready to eat every like, four to five hours and I'm looking for something every two hours mm -hmm. I'm either going to go for the Mickey ears which mind you if I want Mickey ears I'm going to get them mm -hmm. a little Mickey ear ice cream but I don't want to be forced into having to go buy a snack there a expensive b right. mm -hmm. uh, I just don't want to be forced into, I'd rather dip into what I have in my back so I have my little backpack I have my snacks in there we would be standing in line because you know you're standing in line plenty right. standing in line for a ride and I'm busting snacks out in my mm -hmm. bag now, I will say in Disney too, I know this isn't a Disney, uh, right? <laughs> it's not the topic, but if you are going to Disney, um, order off the kids' menu. I got some incredible kids' meals because what they would do there is make mini versions of the full adult mm -hmm. versions and, and cot, especially you're in all the different like countries, you can get their cuisine in a kids' meal. Mm -hmm. And it was perfect portion for me. So I was either trying to share with my sister. Or I was getting a kid's meal mm -hmm. at um, one of the, in one of the um, magic kingdom locations, I was able to get um, a kid's order of salmon and green beans. And it was perfect mm -hmm. because I had this small little, like three or four ounce portion of salmon with a side of green beans, the end, that's all I needed. Mm -hmm. I don't want to walk around Disney full and ready to like bust or fried food and all that like heavy stuff. So yes, that's my kind of my thing now when I travel is I don't want to feel like shit. Right. Now, when you eat too much, you feel like shit. Right. Now I did when, when I was, um, like I said, when I was in Africa, I also love to try things. Yes. So it's like, okay, I'd never had a worm. Mm -hmm. I never mm -hmm. had, I never had a warthog. So mm -hmm. I never had said that. So I was going to try these things. And, mm -hmm. but that didn't mean that I went face down in it. It's I tried it. Right. I had one worm. Um, you know, I'm I had proud of you because I wouldn't have done it. One bite of warthog and you know, stuff like that. But there was just so much stuff that I've never tasted. Before. Right. And so to me, you know, being in the restaurants, it was just important to taste. Now, and when I go to point, Florida, you're restricting yourself from that. Because when are you going back to Africa again? Right? I mean, you may, yeah. but the, the mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. For most people, they're not going back to Africa multiple times. Like, right. Enjoy yourself. Right. Don't, like, don't deprive yourself. Right. Like if I go, just don't overdo it. I'm going to have tostones. Hell I'm yeah. not going to have like a whole plate of tostones and I'm not going to have, you know, the pork and all well, this. I'm having, like, I had mofongo well, every yeah. night. Like the first time I went to Puerto Rico, yeah. I literally ate mofongo yeah. every night. So, but again, it's not, we're not eating till we're overly full or uncomfortable. Right. Exactly. And so, yeah. So that's, so enjoy, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and, and plan, like, if you know, you're going out to dinner, then plan for your lunch to be one of those, like your breakfast is that meal prep scrambled egg and turkey, mm -hmm. you know, sausage. Mm -hmm. And then your lunch is a turkey roll up or something and then enjoy yourself for dinner. Right. And then mm -hmm. if you're not going out for dinner, then maybe you're doing something special for lunch. Like just plan it, mm -hmm. plan it and stay within your hunger. Yes. You know, like, um, you know, when you're full, um, and so, you know, typically eating a full portion at a restaurant ever is twice as much, if not more than right. you actually should have eaten. So, um, I'm also kind of cheap in a way because I'll bring half of it back to the hotel. Right. Um, like, oh, man, when we were in Mexico, when we were in Mexico, we, we that breakfast stuff. buffet was yeah. all we needed. Yeah. And I, prefer, I like breakfast buffets at hotels. Steph is not a fan. And for a couple of reasons, though, a lot of them use really crappy scrambled eggs, like the powdery, like Which I add like water those. to. Yeah, Ooh, I, don't well, I can't. Them. I can't do it. <laughs> hot sauce on them, I'm good. No, I can't do mm -hmm. those. And then the yogurt. A lot of times they just give you like a light yogurt, and it's not. I need the protein, so it's not like a Greek yogurt. Mm -hmm. So I will still. I might go check it out. And maybe I'll look for like hand fruit, like a banana, an mm -hmm. apple, something like that. Mm -hmm. I sometimes steal their little peanut. I'll go and get an apple and peanut butter mm -hmm. or something like that. But most of the time. If they have bacon or sausage, it's just regular full fat pork. Um, and the bacon is usually like paper thin. So I don't know. I'll check it out, but 
sometimes I'm surprisingly impressed. Mexico. Mm-hmm. Um, well, they from, had chilaquiles. Right. They have a great <laughs> breakfast buffet, but a lot of times like your, your typical, like, um, Hampton Inn mm-hmm. is a no for me right. or like a holiday and express. They've got like little cinnamon buns and stuff. Like mm-hmm. I stay away from all the bread stuff mm-hmm. because it just fills me up too fast and doesn't give me enough. Worst case I'll do like, like a whole grain toast with peanut butter and banana. Mm-hmm. And more, I have a little bit different dietary needs. <laughs> so I'll like, I usually do the eggs with cheese or hot sauce mm-hmm. on it. And then, um, I'll grab like a muffin or a piece of fruit, or if they have nice fruit, I'll get a fruit cup. Um, I'll do the yogurt with some granola, but I, again, I don't have to have, yeah. you know, the, the dietary kind of restrictions that, that Steph has. Yeah. It should probably, but mm-hmm. you know, yeah. Yeah. And so, and, and I just, a lot of times the quality is not there for me. Mm-hmm. And if it is like, I've been to some and I'm like, wow, but when I go to the, like, I'll check in and maybe check out if I can see what they have for breakfast. If I can take a peek, sometimes they leave some of that stuff out. If not, I just get what I need at the store, but also I'm traveling for work. I hate to say this in case my boss ever listens, but mm-hmm. like, I get it that they have it, but I'm not, I'm not paying for it. So mm-hmm. typically too, like for the breakfast, I, it's just to get me to lunch. Cause usually we have, like, I'll have lunch plans or mm-hmm. something. So for the breakfast, it's kind of like, okay, let me just eat a little bit of something and then it'll get me to lunch. So, and it's free. Cause I'm, I'm not cheap. It's weird because I'm not cheap, but I am cheap. Right. So it's like, I'll have a $10 pair of sunglasses and a hundred dollar pair of jacket. Right. And it's cause I like it. Right. So I don't know. I'm just weird. So and I, I do like for, um, for me, for when I'm working the shakeable Chobani, um, Greek yogurt, the drinkable ones that you like shake up and drink. They're like 20 grams of protein and I can put it in my bag and drink it when I'm ready. Yeah. See, I don't like those. You don't know. Oh, I love that. Yep. I don't like the texture of like it's like loose yogurt. Swallowing something thick like that. I just don't like it. We're just going to leave it there. Okay. We're going to leave that there. All um, right. So. our moms <laughs> listen to this podcast. Um, so we talked about hotels. So I guess kind of eating out. We we talked about it a little bit. Share if you can. Yep. We share. Then you get the, yeah. Mm-hmm. Then you get the chance to, if you're with people mm-hmm. who like to share and will share and you're comfortable sharing with, mm-hmm. then you get the chance to taste more things. Right. Um, but yeah, that's great. Or if you can do a kid's menu, I don't ever go in and order off the kid's menu unless I'm with a kid. And then I'll be like, you get the adult, I'll get the kid. Uh-huh. Um, I do it with my stepson. I'm like, you want this? I'm going to order the kid's menu. You order this for me. I'll order this for you. Cause I feel awkward. Like, right. I don't, it's not about the money. It's right. just about, it's, I don't want to yeah. waste. Mm-hmm. And so, but if I'm ordering to go, I'll get a kid's meal. Yeah. And for me, um, I like it when I go out with people that, um, do like to share, Um, it makes me crazy when I order something and somebody orders the same thing. Right. A lot of people do that because like we're in the restaurant business and they're like, Oh, you know what to order, but I don't want you to order the same thing because I want to taste yours too. So now I'm going to change what I, what I ordered. Right. Um, for me, I have a one, two, three drink rule, always one, sometimes two, never three. Um, because I like drinks, alcohol, alcohol, yeah, Yeah. not, not like I see, mm-hmm. but alcohol. So I like drinks. So I'll have a glass of wine, um, or I'll have a beer. Mm-hmm. Um, I might have another one. Um, but I'm never going to have three. Cause once I hit three, a, I just want to go to bed and now I'm not enjoying my vacation. Um, B, um, our cruise, we divided, our cruise, we divided or, it up into two days right? in one day. Right. So yeah, yes, cause yes, after so. three, I just mm-hmm. wanted to sleep quite yeah. frankly. Um, and then I lose my self-control. <laughs> Yeah. In more ways than one after three drinks. So I just, you know, I will want to eat all the things and I'll be like, oh, let's go to the buffet. Let's, you know, so it's not worth it to me. There's actually a documentary about drink. Oh, I forget what it's called, but it's about drinking. And they did like a study and people who drank versus didn't drink and they put them in a room and the people who drank ate all the like snacks that were there, yeah. not because they were hungry, but it's because just- they, they, yeah. Right. I forget what that gets called. Oh man. It's, it, it was interesting for me. I know when I drink, I don't have the willpower yeah. that I have Same. Cur- like normally. Same. Um, Cause so, I just want to eat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, like you can only eat so much. Right. I can keep going. Right. So yeah. it's kind of like I have damage control. Right. I, I do not. And so I just, I have a one, two, three drink rule. I have the same rule around my employees as well. Oh, for when yeah. you're drinking, I was like, when I'm drinking one, one employee yeah. is too no, many. No, no, no. I don't know. 
Yes. So when I'm around my employees, okay. I will have a glass of wine in order to be sociable. I might have two, but I'll never right. have three. That's how I was with openings. Cause yeah. I don't know how people did it when they would be up all night, like drinking. And I'm like, I would no. first of all, I'm exhausted. Cause I've just literally mm-hmm. worked 15 hours. Right. And now everybody's going to stay up all night drinking and then they're going to get up in the morning and do it again. Yeah. I can't do that. Yeah. So yeah, I would have, I would have one drink and then I might have two. <laughs> I was passed out after that. So Yep. Me too. So, you know, I think all in all, it's kind of like we, we make excuses that we have in the past and, and a lot of people still do. And sometimes we still do make excuses for why, when we travel, it's now go ham on everything mm-hmm. and do all the drinks and eat all the foods. And then but, you're up 10 pounds when you come back right. from your travel and you're like, I don't understand. I don't know why, but you don't have to be that way. And actually when you have control over what you're doing, um, and kind of like, you're eating and you're drinking and that sort of thing. You actually enjoy your vacation better yeah. because it's not all about the food that we're going to eat. I mean, we used to go on vacation and that's what we would think about with yeah. like the food, yeah. well, the beautiful ocean and the bloody in Mary we were starting out. <laughs> yes, 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 for sure. Um, which how much sodium is in that thing? I, I don't, I just, I don't, can't believe I used to be like that, but anyway, um, but you're not going to do it all at once either. Right. So maybe the first time you travel, if you travel a lot, maybe it's just, we're not stopping at the um, waffle house this time. Yeah. You know, no McDonald's on right. this trip or, or I'm only going to eat things that are authentic to where I'm at, mm-hmm. you know, because I'm not going to eat things that are just junk or crap or whatever, yeah. but yeah. I'm going to enjoy the authentic to where I'm at things. Like I'm going to enjoy some German food. I'm going to go to some German bakeries, but I'm not, going to eat at at McDonald's when I'm on vacation, like, or I'm not going to eat like, you know, onions while I'm on vacation. I'm going to save my calories and my taste buds for something that's authentic and delicious. And I think you Mm -hmm. made a really good point. Like, just like anything else, when we're, um, dieting or trying Mm -hmm. to lose weight or whatever, start where you are, make one change, make Mm -hmm. one change on your next trip. If you're Mm -hmm. not ready to adopt what we do fully, that's Uh fine, but make one change. And then on the next trip, say, you know what? That worked really well. I'm also now I'm going to try getting a hotel with a kitchen or Mm -hmm. an Airbnb where I can cook some meals or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's start where you are and continue to add to it. But if maybe if it's overwhelming to do everything that we just mentioned, right. And that's fine. Yeah. I I didn't start Mm -hmm. out like with all of that. And I don't think you did either. No, no, I started out with just taking, you know, taking my own water bottle to the airport because I used to travel a lot for work and, um, you know, a few snacks. Um, and then I kind of would, oh, you know, they're going to take me out to dinner. They're going to do this. And that just got overwhelming mm-hmm. for me. And so, um, so yeah, I think it's really just baby steps, just like everything with what we do, um, just kind of doing what you can do and every vacation is going to be different. Yeah. Like, you know, when I was in Africa, I couldn't find anything that was, you know, familiar. Right. Um, I couldn't pack because it took me 32 hours to get there. My right. cheese wasn't going to be good at that point. No, it's not. So there's, there's, you probably would have ate it by then anyhow, <laughs> probably. Um, but then there's like me driving to hell in Georgia. That's three and a half hours. I can do that. And I don't have to go through, you know, the Taco Bell to right. get there. Right. Like I just don't. Um, and so being as, you know, I think the ultimate rule is to stay as consistent as you can, uh, while you're traveling as you do at home. Mm-hmm. Um, and just baby steps. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. So what's next? Um, we don't know. Yes, we do. do Wait, we? No, we don't know. No, we don't know. No. Cause we're filming out of order. Right. Yeah. yeah so we don't, know. we don't know what's next, but I think what I want to do is we have some things lined up. One of them was talking to a dietitian right. possibly mm-hmm. just cause we have some, like, we think we know, but do we know <laughs> something? So we, I think mm-hmm. we want to get, um, a dietitian on with us. Mm-hmm. And then, um, we also wanted to talk about hydration. I think those yeah. were two things that we talked about hydration coming up in the is, near future. It's really important. And I think I'm going to talk my trainer, Phil, into joining us because, mm-hmm. um, working with me, he has, uh, it's opened his mind a little bit because he's like an old school. He's not old, well, he's older than me, but he's, uh, he's an old school, like, mentality. you know, mentality, yeah. mentality of fitness and you just work out and you eat chicken Protein and broccoli and, and brown you know, rice and whatever <laughs> and pre workouts on this and that and whatever but working with me it kind of made him realize like there's a whole mental thing to this and you know he'd never worked with i don't know but i don't think he's worked a lot with people who had been morbidly obese at one point it's more like hey i just want to cut or i right. want to do this or i want to do that Woken up right so mm-hmm. um and that whole kind of mental piece and kind of stuff i think um would be interesting for us to talk about um yeah. because we've had a lot of really great conversation while i work out 
hopefully he doesn't listen and hear our voices that we just impersonated for right <laughs> sound like that no at all. <laughs> um so um i'm going to talk to him about that so i think that'll be fun um i think another one that we kind of wanted to do was like you know our wins our non-scale oh, yeah non-scale right? victory mm-hmm. one because we man they just keep coming right oh and we yeah. also want to do a q a so mm-hmm. with that being said we are going to post something on our instagram for q a like we get lots of questions so we'll pull some of the questions we've already gotten but we're going to do a post about like hey ask us anything and we're just going to go through and answer a bunch of questions that people have for us right like, and most of the questions um, that I get are because with my skin removal surgery, mm. but I do get a lot of questions like, what diet did you use? Right. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, people ask me um, mostly like, what app do I use for mm-hmm. tracking? Mm-hmm. Um, questions maybe about my weight loss surgery mm-hmm. um, or like cooking questions. I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> that's my 35 minute alarm. So, yeah. Um, so anyway, so we will so see you next time. At, yeah. And I think our... Um, our next one is probably going to be one of those five that we just mentioned. <laughs> Something. Something. They're all coming. Right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. right. Well, thanks guys. Bye. Bye.